So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a little technique to be able to add a neon glowing outline to an object. Let's dive into it and get started. So this is my starting image. Um, it's the iconic London Eye, if you're not familiar with it. It's a big old Ferris wheel down in London. Um, now, it normally does have a little bit of kind of a, a neon glow to it anyway come the evening time, which you can see a little bit of it around here. But I wanted to add a little bit more to it. I always thought it should be a little bit more extravagant. So this is why it's a fantastic tutorial to work on this image. Now, it's not to say it's the only type of photograph that you can use on anything that really you wanted to add an outline to. It could even be something like the the Elizabeth Tower, the Big Ben clock in the background here, you know, that kind of object as well. It could be a building, it could be a person, it could be a car, anything really, any object that kind of obviously has an outline, you can add this tutorial to. So to do so, it's always best, as I say, for a bit of housekeeping to start with a new layer. So you can press the uh, new layer icon in the bottom corner here of your layers panel, or simply just go up to your top menu and press layer, new and layer if you wanted to. So to start off, to actually draw our shape, we're going to use the pen tool. So if we just grab that from our vertical toolbar and then we need to go a little bit closer in. Just we want to try and make this as accurate as possible in terms of our drawing. So we're just going to start at a point up here and we're going to choose this rim to follow. Try and see if you can follow a consecutive pattern. And just making small points, we'll just try, especially with a circular object as we're trying to trace here. It's just going to make it as accurate as possible with the straight line of the pen tool here. So let me take a bit of time. I'm just going to run around this nice and quickly. Just going to right click with our pen tool selected anywhere on the line. And then, and then we're going to choose the option here of stroke path. And then we get an option of choosing what different type of tool head we want to use to actually create the stroke. Um, I'm going to use the brush here for a minute. So I'm just going to press brush and press OK. And then you see straight away is given us that effect of that outline there. But we still have the lines of the path on there, which is not so much of a problem, but just to get rid of it. I'm using the pen tool still, if we right click back in again on our path and we just press delete path. Now we've just got a simple outline that we've drawn. So now comes the fun part of being able to actually add the glow to it. So if we double click on that layer, now we get our layer style panel. And we're just going to go down to the bottom here of outer glow. Now to match up with our actual path that we've drawn here with it being white, I'm actually going to choose a white glow to it anyway. Now we can intensify that, we can spread it out a little bit further, we can reduce the opacity of it a little bit. It really depends on the effect that you're trying to achieve here. We can change the range, that's just the spread of things a little bit further. But I'm quite happy with how we've got it there. Now as it stands, it seems a little bit harsh in some areas. So just to take off that effect so it's not so obviously photoshopped, we can just now reduce the opacity on that layer just so we can see through that shine, because you would naturally be able to see through the glow. It wouldn't be such a hard light itself. You should be able to see some of these little pods that are around the wheel here. So we're just going to reduce the effect a little bit. Now, if you want to colorize it still from here, because when we actually applied the path and we applied the stroke, it was taking the color. It made it white because our swatches were still set to white down here. So it's sometimes thinking quite a way in advance as to what you have to do a little bit earlier on. But don't worry, because you can change it afterwards. So once you've got your layer looking exactly how you like it, I'm just going to go back to our layer styles here. We've got an option called Color Overlay, which if we press that, that's going to apply that to the path that we drew, not to the glow, but we can still apply it to that afterwards. All you need to then do is decide what color you'd actually like to have for your glow. So we maybe want to choose something more evening time, like a, a nice blue. We can make it a bit lighter possibly there. And then in our color picker, we get given a, what's called a hex code or a number down at the bottom here that we can basically copy over onto another section and it applies the exact same tone. So we're going to take this little code here, this 487 EEA, we're going to copy it, press OK. I'm going to go back to our outer glow. Now remember we had those choices earlier, we set to white where we could choose our color for our outer glow. We're going to go back to that, press on there, and where it's got all those Fs down the bottom here, we're just going to paste in that number. And now it's made the actual path that we drew 
and the glow the exact same color so you can see now how we've got that lovely glow and it's taken away that harsh line that was in between it there so it's just a really really kind of simple way of being able to add a little bit of color now as we said towards the bottom of the frame the wheel actually disappears out of view of the image there's uh, something blocking it there so to make that a little bit more realistic i'm just going to add a layer mask using the icon in the very bottom here make sure we're on our brush tool which is set to black and then zoom in much closer so we're going to need to make sure we're as accurate as possible for this kind of 3d effect and now all we're going to do is just erase or masking more specifically those blue lines just so it stops where the object crosses in front of the wheel so you can still have a little bit of a glow over the edge of it that wouldn't be unrealistic i don't suppose in this instance but to actually have the whole wheel enclosed in front of this object wouldn't look correct in the same perspective so it's just good to kind of have that effect a little bit more closely set there so there we go, we've completed it. We've added a nice glow to the outside of our object here. So as I said, this is just one idea that you can apply to many different images. You can apply it to portraits. You can potentially even keep a nice white outline and then just have a colorful glow. That can be kind of quite interesting in terms of the effect, but give it a try. If you've enjoyed the tutorial, keep looking out for iPhotography for more. Thanks for watching. <laughs>